All right, so we're gonna do something. We're gonna do something a little bit different than what we normally do right now. Okay, so it is two in the morning. Um, as you can see right here, it is two in the morning. I am pretty drunk. I've had a lot of tequila. Um, but you know, something told me that I should come in here and I should do this video. So this video is really just me ranting. I'm not going to have ads on this. I'm not going to try and monetize this, even though I could, but like, I'm not because that's not what this is about. This video is just purely about motivation, purely about motivation and good energy. Uh, this is mainly focused on my people that are over 18. But if you're under 18, there'll still be some shit in here that you might want to hear as well. But this is mainly for my people over it, over uh, 18 that I'm talking to right now. All right, this video was purely for um, motivation purposes. So yeah, I don't really have an idea of what exactly I'm gonna say. I'm just gonna say whatever I say. I'm not gonna cut it once in the video. You're gonna see everything, and then hopefully at the end of this, you know what I'm saying? People feel more inspired. This is about 20k or whatever, but it's not. It looks like less, but anyways. All right, so that doesn't matter. I just sort of wanted to have this here just to show you guys, but anyways. All right, so basically this video is about motivation. So I'm not gonna lie. I woke up today and I recorded two videos. I recorded two videos, as you can see up here. You see Untitled 1, Untitled 2. Yeah, I recorded two videos. Uh, the games weren't that good, but I don't know. I was just in a weird mood. Me personally, I struggle with um, being bipolar and having HSP. So like sometimes I just wake up and I'm just not in a good mood. Like, I don't know. It's not for like any specific reason, but sometimes I'm just not in a good mood. And a lot of times I can fight through that, but sometimes I can't. And me personally... I don't want to like get it diagnosed or like go to a therapist or anything like that because it's not that big a deal. So I feel like I can just live with it. Me personally, maybe I should probably go get it diagnosed or something. If you're somebody, maybe you should. I'm not saying don't do that. I'm just saying me personally, I don't because I feel like it doesn't really hinder me that much. And it's like who I am. So like why fight who I am? You know what I mean? So anyway, so I woke up today. I wasn't really feeling that good. Today was actually probably one of the worst days I've had. And it's weird because it's not for it. It's not like anything bad happened to me today. I was just have a had a really bad day. I woke up just not really feeling it with the videos. And then later, I started listening to uh, Lonely Child by Young Boy, and it made me start thinking about my grandma. And then I I know some of you guys seen me probably ranting about that on Twitter, and that started making me sad and shit. Um, so yeah, I just really haven't had a good day at first. But then afterwards, it's crazy. So right after, okay, so I'm listening to Young Boy, Lonely Child, whatever. It's making me super sad. It's making me think about my grandma. I'm crying or whatever, right? It's a true story, right? So after that happened, then I just, for some reason, I just wanted to start working hard. So there was a, there's a few different Like Minds projects that I've been working on, and I've sort of been allowing like my manager or other people to try and work on it for me and today I sort of took it into my own hands and when I did that it just started motivating me like I got a few good breaks and it just started motivating me so then after I did that I went online and I started looking up houses to buy and okay so those of you who don't know this house that I'm in right now I'm leasing this I think I said that but if I didn't yeah I'm leasing this I didn't buy this house it's about a million dollar house but I'm leasing it um, and the reason I'm leasing it is because I'm not 100% sure on where I want to live. If I want to live in Calabas Calabasas or closer to Hollywood, thousand or whatever. You know what I mean? So this is sort of me like giving it a try, giving both a try because I lived in Hollywood for a few years. Um, my biggest goal for next year, my biggest goal for next year is that I want to buy a house. Um, and I feel like that's important to say and get out in the air and like, so you guys know what I'm working towards and just so it puts the pressure as well on me to get it done. Cause if it doesn't happen, then y'all be looking at me next year. Like where's, where, where, where's the goddamn house? You know what I mean? So, uh, yeah, my biggest goal next year is to get a house. I identified that about a month ago. I feel like you guys as well should start to identify what your goal, your biggest goal for next year should be. I'm not saying you need to have it right now, but before the end of December, for sure, you should have your goal for the next year. My biggest goal is that I want to be able to buy a house. Those of you who aren't familiar with how that works, basically, with most houses, you have to put 20% down. Most people only put the 20% down. Some people put more than that, but most people only put the 20% down. So I'm looking to try and buy like a 1.5 to $2.5 million house. 
right? Because if I'm expected to live in the house for like five to 10 years or however long, obviously I want to go crazy as I possibly can. So to do that, that means I have to put down somewhere between two hundred and $400,000, right? So that's a lot of money that I have to uh, create by last year. And that's not taking in, in, into, um, that's not taking into account the money that I've already made and I've saved or like, for example, this watch, you know what I'm saying? Or like all the other, so, so it's like, but basically my goal by like next September is I want to have like $400,000 or so of disposable money that I can put towards my house. And there's a few ways that I'm going to reach that. It's not just from doing these reaction videos. Nah, I wouldn't rely on that to do that, even though maybe it could, but like I wouldn't rely on that to do it. Um, I actually have a few other things that I'm doing as well. Obviously, you guys know about the like minds. Like I said, I was working on that today and I got some really good news. So I will be doing another drop um, this month, hopefully. Um, God willing, but obviously I'm working on the like minds, but there's a few other things I'm working on as well. So that brings me to one of my first points that I think that it's very important that all of you guys have different ways that you make money. You shouldn't. And I'm again, I'm speaking to my older audience. If you're under 18 or whatever, this isn't really directed towards you. But I'm thinking about the people that are older. You should have more than one income of money. You shouldn't just have one. You should try and get as close to five as you can. I know five is a big number and it's not that easy. I'm not even at the number five, but you should try and get to five. Um, right now, personally, I have three different ways that I'm trying that I have in mind that's going to get me to that number that I need to reach so that I can buy a house next year. Um, and then maybe I can add some more ways along the way. But yeah, I think it's really important that you guys have at least at least a few, at least two different ways that you make money. You know what I'm saying? Um, because really the only thing that separates people, I feel like in life is effort. It's been so many times that I've looked at some of my friends or just people that I know and I was like, God, man, I, I just wish they would go harder. Like, I wish they would just grind harder. And it's not to like put them down, but I really feel bad. Like, I really just wish more of my friends and stuff would try hard because I try hard. You know what I'm saying? Like, I try hard. Like, I already am, am up and I'm trying to get even way, way more up because I try hard because it's like we only have one life to live. I did my one of my favorite sayings is I swear people be living like they got two lives or they got three lives. Like, I swear I look at so, so many different people and I'm like, why are people just so and, and I'm not saying there's anything wrong with that, but it's just so surprising to me that so many people are content on just not giving life their best effort or not dreaming big or not doing this. And, and I just want all of y'all. That's the whole reason for making this video is I just want all of y'all to dream big, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, I know some of us are at disadvantages, you know what I'm saying? And it's not an equal playing field. I'm not trying to make it seem like, oh, all you got to do is try hard. No, 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 no. Some of us are at big advantages. And if you're watching this video, you're not even at as big of an advantage as a disadvantage as some of the people who don't even have YouTube or can't even watch videos, right? So I'm not trying to make it seem like everything is fair. Life is not fair at all. But there's so many people that I see that have potential and people that I know that have potential and they just waste it from being lazy. When you're lazy, man, you're not doing anything but cheating yourself. You know what I'm saying? Like you're not doing anything but let's say you wanted to be a YouTuber and you don't really want to do everything that's involved to be a YouTuber then you're really just wasting your time or you want to be a Twitch streamer, but you don't want to really do everything like make your stream super clear and like get a camera and do this and do that. Then you're just wasting your time. You might as well give it everything you got or don't do it at all. Because when you have to do it and you don't give it everything you got, you're really just wasting your time. You know what I'm saying? So the best thing to really do is give it your all. And that's something that I really realized today when I was looking at these houses and I was making this plan to be successful, guys. First, you have to have a dream. Right. Let me drink that. Let me drink some. And again, I'm just rambling my ass off. You could turn this off at any time. <laughs> but to be successful, first, you have to have a dream. All right. First, you have to have a dream of what you want to do or what you think you want to do. And normally God or your heart or your mind will steer you in the direction of where you're supposed to go. Right. Then after you sort of have an idea of what you want to do, you have to believe in yourself. 
most importantly. And then you have to figure out a plan. It's not just enough to dream. You have to have an actual plan of how you're going to do it. You know what I'm saying? Like this, this big ass house that I want to be able to afford next year and have enough money and this and that. There's a lot of different steps in things that I have to do in order to make it happen. You, you have to have a good plan. Having a good plan is important. Me being a successful YouTuber and whatever that I am, that's because I had a plan, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, I tried hard. You can go look at some of my old, old videos, bro. I was trying hard. I used to spend some, sometimes six hours editing videos. You know what I'm saying? Like, you gotta, you gotta try hard and you gotta have a plan. You know what I'm saying? You really gotta give it all you got. You know what I'm saying? Because if you shoot for the stars, you know what I'm saying, then you'll land on the moon. You know what I'm saying? But if you shoot for the moon, you're not going to hit. You know what I'm saying? So you really got to, and I just, that's one of my biggest things is I just really wish everyone would just try harder, man. Like, I just want y'all to try harder. Like, I'm out here trying harder. There's no reason. Like, I just want people to try harder. You know what I'm saying? Like, I just wish more people would try harder. And I'm just really just trying to, like, I don't know. I'm just trying to like motivate people. Um, so yeah, basically, like, like I said, that's my goal. I want to try and, and get this and get this house next year. I have a few different ways I'm gonna do that. Whether that's from doing the videos, you can obviously you can expect to see me do all of the games and shit this year for sure. We're gonna have a great time doing that. But I want to try and also incorporate other videos and shit onto the channel as well. Um, just because I don't want it to be as one dimensional as just doing reactions um, to sports games. I don't want it to be that one dimensional, right? Um, I also want to do vlogs and shit like that. But yeah, me personally, I'm just really trying to cut out the distractions because when you think about it, really everything in life is a distraction. If, if, if you let it be like today, I had to cut my cord to my Xbox one. I literally cut the cord. I can't even show you because my Xbox one's not here, but I'll show you a photo of it. I cut the cord to my Xbox one. I had bought gears when it came out. Just thinking like, oh yeah, I'll give it a try, whatever. I like Gears, right? I used to play Gears a lot in the past. Bro, I'm a level 500 and something, bro. I have over like three or four days played on that game. Like that's how many hours I've wasted on that game. I had to cut the cord because it's just going to stop me from getting the house that I want. You know what I'm saying? I'm damn near about to unfollow everybody on IG, but I'm not going to do that. But I damn near want to... Because, like, I just don't want any distractions, bro. Like, I don't want people calling my phone. I don't really even want to, like, send DMs or, like, try and talk to any girls. Like, I really just want to try my best and focus. You know what I'm saying? Because I really, that's my biggest goal for next year is I really just want to be able to get this house, bro. You know what I'm saying? I've been renting cribs in L.A. This is going to be my fourth year. I lived in Ventura for a year. Then I lived in Hollywood for two years. This is going to be my fourth year. Now I'm in Calabasas, right? Um, I'm really tired of leasing cribs. I've been spending $4,000, $5,000 a month leasing cribs, bro. I've spent hundreds of thousands of dollars, right, leasing shit when I could have put that towards having some shit. So now that I'm about to be 25, I want to switch that up and I want to be able to get something. And I feel like when I finally buy my house, it's going to be the first time that I'm actually going to be able to breathe, like take an actual deep breath and like, and like be relaxed for a second. Like I really accomplish something big you know what i mean so that's really what i'm trying to work towards is uh pulling that off uh, one thing that people don't tell you that i'm here to tell you in case no one's ever told you now this is for my younger people if you've made it to 13 minutes in the video this is for my younger people okay um having good credit is more important than having a lot of money there's been times when i've had a lot of money trying to get a house for like four or five thousand dollars that i know i could afford but they wouldn't give it to me because I didn't have a I didn't have a good credit. And the reason my credit was bad was because, as you guys know, I went to college, but I got kicked out of college. Now, when I was going to college, I was on student loans and I didn't even know that that was going to affect my credit when I got hit out because I don't know anything about credit. They don't teach you anything about credit in school. You know what I'm saying? So I'm on student loans. I get kicked out of the school. So then there was money that I owed that I didn't have in that. Ticket. So I instantly took a negative hit to my credit. So I had to build my credit out from negative, right, to get it good. Now I have over 700 credit score and I'm here to tell you that you need you need a 700 credit score to be taken seriously in life. 
A, a perfect score, I think it's like a 900. You need at least a 700. All of the houses that I've looked at over the last few years, they've always asked me, do you have at least a 700 credit score? You need to have at least a 700 credit score, bro. Like that, like if you don't, it's hard. They're going to try and make you put more money down, more money a month, stuff like that. And then being a YouTuber and it's not like a real job that also makes them give stigmas and being black as well as being young. So I'm facing a lot of different stigmas. I'm young and I'm black and I'm a YouTuber and my credit's bad. So there were houses. I could have been in a house like this with the pool years ago, guys. I was making way more money than I'm making now years ago. And I couldn't pull this off because my credit wasn't good. Not because of a lack of money. So, bro, credit is very important. My advice is you get a credit card. If you don't have good credit or you're trying to build your credit, while it's not a big deal right now, you get a credit card, get two credit cards, get like $300 maximums on them, right? And you just use them to buy gas. You use them to buy a little like shit at the grocery store, fast food, stuff like that. You spend like $100 or so a month. You pay off your credit and that's how you get your first lines of credit. That's what I recommend everybody doing because that's one of the ways that I got my credit up. I also am with a credit company that I pay like $30 a month to. And they helped me get my credit score good. So going into September, I want to have as good of a credit score as I possibly can because that's going to make it easier for me to get a house. So I wanted to bring that up to you guys, the importance of having good credit because good credit is better than having money for real. Like it really is, bro. So yeah, so that's really, that's the main shit I wanted to say. I really just want everybody to work harder. I'm drunk as hell. If I wasn't this drunk, I probably wouldn't even be doing this. But I feel like this will motivate someone. And if it motivates someone, then it was worth doing. You know what I'm saying? I don't know how many people it's going to motivate, but it motivates someone. Because at the end of the day, that's what it's all about. I just, I'm really, the reason that I work so hard is not because I'm trying to make $10 million or $5 million or $100 million. I, I work hard because I care about my legacy and how I want to be remembered. Like, I want people to remember me after death. I feel like that's the best way to live your life is to live like that. So that's the really the shit that drives me more than anything is that don't get me wrong. I definitely want to have more money than I got now and more need to do shit that I want and be able to give my mom a million dollars one day and shit like that. Oh, yeah, I want to be able to do all of that for sure. But I'm more drawn. I'm more driven by legacy than I, I am what makes the most money. Because if I was just trying to make the most money, I, there's a lot of stuff differently that I would be doing. But I think it's I think that it should be obvious that I'm not really in shit for the money. And I'm more in it for the legacy. Whether you look at my YouTube, whether you look at my clothing brand, I'm not in this shit to try and make a quick dollar. I'm not cutting corners to try and make a quick dollar. I'm not spamming you guys. I'm not... You know what I'm saying? I could be posted 2K and making money up, but it's not really, it's not always about what can make the most money as much as it's about what's going to make you the most happy and what you want your legacy and what you want everything to be. So yeah, like I said, I think you guys just really, I just want everybody to be motivated. I don't want y'all to be satisfied with being normal. I don't want y'all to be normal. I want y'all to be great. You know what I'm saying? And if it starts with trying to think of another way to make money, trying to put money aside, whatever you got to do, just think of different ways just to be great, man, because we only have one life that I know of. We only got this one life and we don't know how, when it's going to end. You know what I'm saying? And hopefully it doesn't end for any of us, at least until we're like 90. <laughs> but either way, I want to be able to, whenever I go, I want to be able to look back and say, yo, shit, I wish I could have lived longer, but for however long I lived, I'm proud with the effort I gave. You know what I'm saying? And God forbid, like I said, I'm trying to live a long time, a long time. But I just feel like no matter when I go, as long as I just keep working hard, I'll always be able to say, like I can say right now, I'll always be able to say, hey, man, I'm I'm, I'm, I'm happy with what I did. You know what I'm saying? So, so yeah, that's really all I wanted to say. Um, I hope this motivated somebody. Like I said, I have a few more like minds drops coming in the in the next few months. I can definitely use your support, anyone on that. That's really like I said, I'm not gonna monetize or try and make money off this video, but I will bring that up because that's one of the ways that I'm going to be able to fucking like be able to get this house and shit that I want. 
Um, that's one of like my ways of making money is like mine as well as as well as this channel. And I have a few more that I want to keep private. But anyways, that's going to do it. Um, I really hope you guys live your best life. I wish that there was some way that I could make all of you guys as motivated as me because I'm very motivated. And I know some of you guys are dealing with shit because I've seen the messages and you guys say, oh, your videos pick me up and that. I just really don't. I just really want to just motivate you guys like as much as I possibly can. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't want anybody to do any harm to themselves or anybody else. Because we've got a long, long life to live. And it might start off hard, but it can get better fast, bro. You know what I'm saying? It can get, like, in a year. So much can happen in a year, guys. So much can happen in a year. First, you have to have a plan. First, you have to have a plan. And then you just have to see it through. So, yeah. That's really all I wanted to say. I'm pretty goddamn lit. Um, I'm going to just go ahead and upload this right now. And then probably knock out. And hopefully I wake up in a good mood and I start doing videos again. As far as like games. But I might miss one more day. But yeah. So. Yeah. That's my that's my goal. And I hope you guys find your goals. Because I'm really just trying to motivate people. At the end of the day. Is there anything else I want to say? No. I think I'm done.